Capitol Police is a unique police agency. We have the responsibility of providing police protection to all three branches of government, the judicial, legislative, and executive branch, to make sure government is able to operate without being interrupted. We were actually originally initiated back in 1965 to monitor and protect the legislative hall. Since that time, we have encompassed numerous other facilities to protect throughout the Greater Dover area and the, the court sections throughout the state. Our primary function is a, a facilities protection type division. With any law enforcement agency, manpower is always an issue. You always, you always like to have more than you actually have, so you have to find the best way to use what you do have. And by utilizing technologies, I mean, you can incorporate that in with your manpower to basically en en enhance your patrol function, and watch areas where you can't necessarily have a body on scene. So we found that we are actually producing, being able to control our facilities much more effectively, incorporating the new technologies, utilizing what manpower we do have available to us. Seems like with most police agencies today, we're doing more with less. With the technology that's available, it makes sense to work smarter, not harder. And Chief Jopp realized very early on that in order for him to efficiently manage the systems, to administer the systems, and to also remotely monitor the systems he's going to need to be able to provide a common platform for these systems to communicate on. Initially, when we started consulting with Capitol Police on the migration path of technology, Honeywell became a very logical choice because Honeywell had a wide variety of products to handle some unique applications that Capitol Police is, is tasked with protecting. What Advantech understood, this is a perfect application for video analytics. They can leverage their own cameras, they can add only a couple more cameras, and they can actually get that protection that they need. Video analytics gives additional eyes around perimeters of buildings or in certain critical areas and allows predefined events to automatically alert. If we have a camera set up on a building and we want to know if somebody comes in and trespass or loiters and somebody crosses the zone, you can immediately respond to that. And that's really where the excitement of video analytics is. Woodburn is, a, is one of his unique positions. It has a single man that operates the grounds here, which are, are fairly large, but being a, a single position watching a 360 degree radius is a difficult position to do that with. By incorporating the video analytics software, it's like having a second person watching the cameras with you by the electronics and, and the software lets us know when there's a potential threat nearby, uh, giving the officer an opportunity to react faster and to determine if it is indeed a threat or just someone on the grounds. The Capitol Police Department here in Dover, Delaware has a chief that is extremely proactive. Uh, he's always been regarded as, uh, in the state as a visionary. And, and, and I say that because that's extremely important to understand his openness and his sensitivity to how to use and integrate technology in terms of what his obligations are and, and, and his important function. I've been fortunate over the years being with the state and we have dealt with Honeywell equipment and I found that it's very reliable and it seems to meet the demand of today. And what's nice is that when we look down five, ten years down the road, the equipment is able to uh, meet those demands as designed. The hope is pretty much what Chief Jobs' vision was, to have a common application that, again, is user-friendly, that will provide them a huge amount of actionable information in a real-time environment so that they can provide a higher level of safety and security for the state of Delaware assets, facilities, and citizens.